Well, good afternoon. I have a new boat and I thought I would do a little introductory review of it. I've had the boat uh, for about a week now. I've done uh, four paddles with it, three solo creek paddles and a tandem white water paddle. So the boat is uh, a skiff. Okay, that's the brand name and the model name is Pocket Canyon. Okay, the Skiff Pocket Canyon. And this this was a brand new boat. Uh, I don't buy those very often, but uh, I wanted something. Uh, I wanted a nice canoe for solo and tandem. So this is both a solo and a tandem boat. It can be used either way. Uh, I'll probably use it both ways quite a bit. So just basic statistics, the boat is 14 and a half feet long. Um, the depth is 16 inches, which is quite deep for a 14 and a half foot boat. And the beam, that's the width, is 34 and a half inches, so almost 35 inches. So even though it's only a 14 and a half foot boat, it's, it's, it's very high volume for a boat that size. It's got an advertised payload of 770 pounds. Uh, I've paddled it with two guys in it, you know, that are, you know, big men. And uh, we've done white water in it, and there was lots of volume. Okay, so uh, what's this boat for? This is a uh, white water play boat, uh, technical river runner, and a river tripper, a uh, backcountry tripping boat. So it's got the big volume for solo tripping uh huge volume for solo tripping and uh, and it's got enough volume for two probably smaller paddlers doing a uh a shorter trip uh so one person uh really capable backcountry tripping boat or light tripping for two people okay and i've got it set up for either um, but, uh, yeah, so what makes it a, a white water boat is, you know, you can see it's huge amount of rocker rockers, how much the ends turn up. Um, so it's four inches on either end, four inches of rocker on either end. Uh, so the boat likes to turn. It really likes to turn. Um, it's made out of, oh, the material is important. It's made out of T4MX, which is kind of like a Royal X type, uh, material, a lightweight plastic. Uh, so it's durable for uh, for uh, white water, but it's also light enough to portage. Uh, advertised weight is around 59 pounds, which is good for me. I'm used to portaging a 76-pound uh, boat. So to me, um, 59 is a lightweight boat. Uh, to some Kevlar paddlers, that may sound heavy. Okay, so right now I've got it set up for solo downriver whitewater racing uh, uh one day not uh, multi-day um so let's take a look at that uh end airbags they are 30 inch Toledo end airbags with um end airbag netting uh so those uh those guys there those are those are epoxied in place to hold the netting for the airbag. I've got the bags partially deflated right now because I'm not paddling the boat. Um, oops. One of these safety kit, that's the stuff that you need to carry according to the law. Um, so this is uh, the back seat if you're paddling tandem or the front seat if you're paddling solo. This is a symmetrical canoe, so you just turn it around uh, to paddle it solo um and uh, i have paddled it uh several times solo creek paddling and it is very well balanced for solo paddling i think it's better balanced for solo than tandem actually um so in addition to the Toledo end bags i've done uh knee pads stick in knee pads uh for um for both uh solo and for tandem 
but if, if you look at this it's only i've only got it set up for tandem knee pads for myself the bow paddler has to do without because i only had two sets of knee pads so it's uh solo i've got knee pads tandem i've got knee pads uh the bow paddler right now doesn't have knee pads uh what else um let's do a flyby of the interior okay oh uh, i've got right here bungee set up for a paddle float uh, self-rescue i'm not going to need that on this uh, downriver race because i'm never going to be far enough from shore to need to self-rescue uh so instead i'm using those to hold my chart case or my map case uh in front of my paddling position so i can look at that anytime and see if i have rapids upcoming or just generally see how far i have to go uh spare paddle just stuffed underneath the airbag uh there's enough the pressure from the airbag keeps the uh, paddle in place